Cincinnati taxpayers are taking a hit. A new deal will end a long dispute with the owner of the now closed Mahogany's at the banks, but both sides are calling it fair. Nine on your side's Tom McKee has been working all day to find why they're saying that. He joins us live. Tom? Of course, Mahogany at the banks closed last fall after the owner here pulled the plug. City leaders confirmed today that Liz Rogers has only repaid $17,000 of a $300,000 loan. But after a very public and very protracted dispute, a deal's been worked out where she now has to pay only a third of that amount. Crews are hard at work remodeling the former Mahogany's at the banks into new space for a restaurant called Santo Graal. That follows Cincinnati's deal with Liz Rogers to repay a third of a $300,000 loan from the city. This is an equitable deal. It's not unfair to taxpayers. What's unfair to taxpayers is when money is squandered and there is, uh, there's no end in sight. Is this settlement that has been reached fair? Uh, I think under the circumstances, I believe that is fair, is reasonable, and is responsible. Cincinnati City Manager Harry Black says council told him to end the stalemate with Rogers, and that's what he did. What I have been able to negotiate with Ms. Rogers is going to ensure that the taxpayers receive some of the monies owed versus zero dollars. Rogers attorney Robert Crosskery says if the city had sued, the cost of litigation would have been more than she owed. I give Liz great credit for wanting to pay the city back instead of just declaring bankruptcy as many lesser people would have done. These two sides won't be working together anytime soon. Liz does not, does not intend to be involved in any type of municipal co-enterprise again. It should be a big lesson not to do deals like this in the future. The big question is whether Rogers will make good on this new promise. Do you realistically think she's going to be able to repay? That's the deal. She has to. Now it's going to cost Rogers about $800 a month for approximately 10 years to repay this loan. That's going to be financed by two new ventures that she announced today. An ice cream th company called Creamalicious and two food trucks called Mahogany's Wings Champs, which will start running this summer. Tom McKean, on your side, live downtown at the banks.